Welcome to Miniorange. Miniorange's Bitbucket user provisioning products are the most successful on the Atlassian marketplace. So, in this video we have show you how to use Okta as provider to allow skin provisioning in Bitbucket. Now let's get started with the setup. Go to the Bitbucket dashboard. Click on setting icon on the top right corner. Then scroll down. And click on find new apps. Go to search tab and search skim. To download the plugin click on free trial. Click on accept and install to agree with Miniorange policy and terms of use. After successful installation use the license key to activate and a plugin. Your plugin has been installed successfully. You can view plugin settings using any of the ways. The first way is to click on plugin. Then click on configure. Then either way is. Scroll down and click on Miniorange user provisioning. In the configuration tab select Okta as an IDP. We will be covering the skim setup here. You can also go through the setup guide by clicking on documentation. Select your IDP. You will get step by step instructions here. Now enter the app name of your choice. Skim base URL and bearer token create and a relationship between Bitbucket and Okta. We will require skim base URL and bearer token for the further configuration. Then click on save settings. Now click on provisioning operations. Enable these operations based on your requirements. Import users. Update Bitbucket users. Import users IDP groups. Enable Bitbucket users. And disable Bitbucket users. Then click on save settings. If you face any issue related to the plugin then check the troubleshooting tab. Here you can download the log file as well as support zip files. Let's see how many users are present in your Bitbucket. Go back to Miniorange plugin in Bitbucket. Click on settings. Then click on users. As we can see, no user has been added. Let's set up Okta skim configuration. Go to Okta login page and log into your credentials. Then click on admin in the top right corner. From the left menu go to the application drop down and select the application. Then click on browse app catalog. In the search bar search skim 2.0 OAuth bearer token. Now navigate to provisioning. And click on configure API integration. And select enable API integration. For the skim base URL. Go back to Miniorange plugin in Bitbucket. Click on edit option and copy the skim base URL and paste it in the base URL field. Similarly copy and the paste bearer token. Now click on test API credentials. After successful testing click on save. In the provisioning to app tab. Click on edit to enable operations. As we can say the operations such as create users, update users and deactivate users has been enabled. Then click on save button. After saving the settings. Click on assignment. Now click on assign. Then click on assign to people option. Click on assign. Then scroll down. And click on save and go back. Now click on done. You have successfully assigned the application to the user. Now click on assign. Select assign to groups. Then click on assign. Click on done. Scroll down and click on save and go back. Click on done. See group is assigned successfully. Now navigate to push groups. Then click on push groups and select find groups by name. Enter group name. Scroll down and click on save. Your group is pushed successfully. Go back to Miniorange plugin in Bitbucket. Click on settings. Then click on users. As we can see, users and groups are added successfully. Miniorange provides best user provisioning solutions. Thanks for watching.